Hey guys and welcome back to The Bullish Investor. In this video, I'm going to review the Spaceship Voyager app. This app has been really popular among Aussie investors, helping them to launch their investing journeys. It's also returned some really strong results. Spaceship was founded back in 2016 with a mission to enable people to invest in their futures. They actually started out with a Spaceship Super in 2017. Then in 2018, they launched the Spaceship Voyager app, which aims to make investing easy and simple for anyone. So in today's video, I'm going to focus on the Spaceship Voyager app. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the three investment options, the fees and the performance, and also the pros and cons. Make sure you watch this video all the way through to the end where I'm going to give you my personal verdict on this app, and I'm also going to tell you how you can get a free $5 to invest into Spaceship. And before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to ensure you don't miss any new videos that come out. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so Spaceship is a micro-investing app which provides you with access to three managed funds which directly invest in shares. So Spaceship Voyager is not a brokerage platform but managed funds where your money is pulled and then invested and managed on your behalf. When you choose to invest in one of the three portfolios available, Spaceship will handle the portfolio construction and how the money you invest will be allocated. Each Spaceship portfolio is a managed investment scheme which means you cannot opt out of any of the shares in a portfolio nor do you have the option of choosing to invest in individual individual stocks or other products such as bonds or currencies. The app allows you to invest as little as you want. There are no minimum amounts required. The three portfolios offer immediate diversification and best of all, a fee free for balances up to $5,000. As an investor, you can choose to set up a regular investing plan, make a one-off investment or a combination of both. You can also track how your investment is doing through the app or the website. So as already mentioned, there are three investment options. You can choose to invest in the Spaceship Universe portfolio, the Spaceship Origin Portfolio or the Spaceship Earth Portfolio. These portfolios allow you to gain domestic and global exposure to a diversified portfolio of shares in just one simple investment. The first fund is the Spaceship Universe Portfolio. According to Spaceship, they are actively selecting world-changing companies that meet their where the world is going criteria, which are basically companies with a competitive advantage and companies with future product or service growth potential. Keep in mind that the max weighting for any company within this fund can only be 3%. This strategy allows for significant diversification within the fund. The fund is rebalanced on a quarterly basis as the investment weightings may fluctuate due to changes in the market value of companies. According to the PDS, there can be anywhere between 70 to 100 companies within this fund. The last time I checked, there were 89 holdings within this fund. There are some huge blue chip companies listed in the holdings as well, including Berkshire Hathaway, Tesla, Apple, Google, Amazon, Adobe, and much, much more. The fund has performed really well in recent times due to the the large weightings of tech stocks. The fund's assets are typically invested in 0 to 10% cash, 15 to 25% in Aussie listed companies, and 70 to 80% in international companies. Moving on, and the next investment option is the Spaceship Origin Portfolio. So this option invests in a portfolio of some of the world's largest companies, including Apple, Johnson & Johnson, Berkshire Hathaway, Alphabet, and Amazon. The primary objective of the Origin Fund is to provide long-term capital growth by investing in companies with large market capitalizations. So this fund is made up of those major blue chip companies. The investment objective of this fund aims to gain exposure to the top 100 Aussie listed companies and the top 100 international listed companies as measured by their market cap. All up, there's about 200 companies within this fund, although the US holdings have more weight behind them. So even though there's about 100 Aussie listed companies and 100 international companies, the fund has more money invested in those US companies. Within this fund, 47% of the holdings are made up of US companies, 16% are Australian and about 12% are Chinese companies. The Origin Fund assets are invested the same as the Universe Fund. Moving on, and the third investment option is the Spaceship Earth Portfolio, which is also the latest fund that Spaceship created. As the name suggests, this is Spaceship's ethical investing option. The Earth Portfolio invests in companies that have a positive impact on people and planet in such areas as poverty, inequality, climate change, the environment, and quality education. The primary objective of the Earth Fund is to provide longer term capital growth by investing in companies that contribute towards the advancement of the United Nations Sustainable 
Sustainable Development Goals Agenda. And as for the ethical considerations, no surprises here that Spaceship takes into account labour standards and environmental, social and ethical considerations when making investment decisions for the Earth Fund. This is not the case for the Universe and Origin Fund. Last time I checked, this fund had 38 holdings, all of which have a positive impact on people and the planet, including Atlassian, Shopify, First Solar, Starbucks and Nvidia. The maximum weighting for any company in this fund is 5%. The Earth portfolio uses a negative screening process to exclude companies involved in activities such as fossil fuels, controversial weapons, animal cruelty, human rights abuse, tobacco and alcohol, gambling, firearms and conventional weapons, and nuclear power. The Earth Fund assets are basically invested the same way as the Origin and Universe funds. So there's 0 to 15% in cash, and 85 to 100% are companies listed on Aussie and international stock exchanges. Moving on now to the fees and the performance, which has actually been really strong. The fees are dirt cheap, and the performance has been really pleasing so far. As for the fees, for the Universe, Earth, and Origin portfolio, you don't pay any fees for the first $5,000 invested. So you don't pay any brokerage fees, and you don't pay any management fees. So the first $5,000 invested is absolutely free. Nothing. Zilch. Then for balances over $10,000, the Universe and Earth portfolios have a management fee of 0.10% and the Origin portfolio has a management fee of 0.05%. So the amount you would be charged in a calendar year if your balance was $10,000 would be $5 for the Universe and Earth portfolio and $2.50 for the Origin portfolio. Keep in mind that the first $5,000 is fee free, which means the fees you see on screen are calculated on $5,000 only, not the full $10,000. I personally think that seeking investments with ultra low fees is so important. As a rule of thumb, you don't want to see management fees exceed 1%. It's good to remember that just small differences in both the investment performance and the fees and costs can have a substantial impact on your long-term returns. For example, say you have total annual fees and costs of 2% of your account balance rather than 1%, this could reduce your final return of up to 20% over a 30-year period. So over a 30-year stretch, it could reduce your total return from $100,000 to $80,000. Moving on to the performance now and Universe has had some really strong returns over the past. Universe returned 54.90% over the year ending 30th of November 2020. The Universe portfolio has returned 30.33% per annum since the fund's inception on the 15th of May 2018 to the 30th of November 2020. So Universe has performed really strongly for the past 32 months. They're really focused on technology investments, hence why the performance looks so good. Moving on to Origin, this fund has performed moderately well since the funded Date. Origin has been nowhere near as strong as Universe. Origin has returned just 5.62% over the year ending 30th of November 2020. Overall, Origin has had pretty strong performance though. Since inception, it's returned 10.93% per annum. So this fund has performed decently well for the past 32 months as well. And finally, for the Earth portfolio, as you can see, Spaceship is not disclosing the performance until a full year of history is available. But since inception on the 12th of November of 2020, it's returned about 7.21%. Now remember, and I'm sure you're already aware, that past performance does not promise or indicate future success. Now, the past performance is still a good sign, but some of those tech stocks are probably overvalued, so it's probably likely to slow down now. Moving on now to the pros and cons of the app. So the pros are that there's no fees for balances up to $5,000, which I think is really great. There's also no brokerage fees, which means investors can invest small amounts frequently. You have the option to invest weekly, fortnightly, or monthly. Another pro is that there's no minimum investment amount. So for many trading apps, they actually require a minimum initial trade of $500, which can be a barrier to entry for new investors. Another pro is the user-friendly interface. For me, I found this interface to be really clean, very simple, and very easy to navigate. And another pro is that you get instant diversification within each fund. Moving on to the cons, and the first con is that there's only three investment options available. Now, the simplicity may suit beginners, but for more advanced investors, they may want more freedom to pick individual stocks. The next con is you have no choice in the investments, so you don't actually get to select which underlying companies will be in the fund. And the last con are the various types of risk involved, including market risk, concentration risk, and currency risk, plus additional risks as you can see on the screen. Overall though, my personal verdict on this app is really positive. I really like how transparent Spaceship are. They provide the holdings of each of the investment portfolios. I really like how it gives you the performance and information about each underlying stock. Another plus are the low barriers to get started. I really like how there's no fees for the first $5,000 invested. I think this will allow beginners to invest small amounts of money more frequently and this will give them more confidence. I think this app is a great starting point for beginners who want to dip their toes in the water with investing. The app just makes investing so simple
simple and easy. I think this app will also be useful for more intermediate investors. I myself invest $100 into the Universe portfolio each month and I'll probably build that up to about $5,000 and then reassess my options. Out of the three main micro investing apps, Comsec Pocket, Raise and Spaceship, Spaceship has the lowest fees and has performed the best of the three. If you'd like to see me do a comparison video on these three apps, let me know in the comments below. Anyway guys, that will do me for this video. Hopefully this video has given you a clearer understanding of the Spaceship Voyager app. Now, if you are brand new to Spaceship and you'd like to start using the app to invest, I've left a referral link in the description. So if you sign up using my referral link, you will get a free $5 when you open and fund your account. If you don't use a referral link, you won't get that free $5. So why not use my referral link? You will get $5, I will get $5, everyone wins. Now I'd also like to hear your thoughts on the app. Do you use the Spaceship app? What do you like and dislike about it? Keep the discussion going in the comment section below. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, go ahead and gently tap the like button. And if you haven't done this already, go ahead and subscribe to The Bullish Investor for more finance and investing content. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.